Hey, this is YBR back with My Summer Car. So as I promised, I did a little bit of research before I went shopping and there's actually another thing I'm gonna buy in addition to what I bought the last time I built the car. So first things first, let's buy the things we bought last time. We got a fan belt. I think we got a fire extinguisher, but I'm not gonna bother with it this time. As long as nothing catches on fire, we don't need a fire extinguisher. Don't need any paints because I like the paints I got. We need a bunch of brake clutch fluid. I got like four or five of them right there. I just kept clicking. A couple of motor oils. No two-stroke fuel because we're not going to be driving anything with a two-stroke engine. Couple of coolants. Get a car battery, an oil filter, and I think we need one box of spark plugs because one box had five, if I remember correctly. And we have an inline four engine. Over here, we need all of the sausages. That's all I like is sausages, my dude. I take all of your sausages and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I'm looking so close to his face. I should never look this close to his face. This looks good. <laughs> Hi, I'm taking your sausages, okay? Okay, <laughs> enough of that. Now, the new addition is over here. It is the grill charcoal. I don't know how much you need, but it's new and I want it. So we're buying four grill charcoals. Now we could go and pay right now, but there's actually a couple more things we need to buy, but it is outside. We need to buy some fuel. So let's go ahead and grab one of these canisters. We're gonna grab this one, which is the diesel, and we'll do the diesel first. And we also need to fill up the van afterwards, so what I should probably do is heat up the van while I get the gasoline so it'll be ready to go by the time I'm ready to fuel it up. Pop this thing open, and then I'm gonna fill this up off camera because it's gonna take a while. So I'll be back once it's full. And diesel canister is full. We got 58, whatever these are, worth of diesel. I wanna say dollars, but I know they're not dollars. They're like marks or something like that. I think it's MK. I'm gonna call him Marks for now because I can't remember the actual name. Speaking of not being able to remember the name, what's this dude's name again? Tiamon. That's it's a little bit hard to remember. So you know what? Instead of calling him Tiamon, I'm gonna call him Pokemon. That's easy to remember. So I get this thing heating up as I go and do the gasoline now. And once again, there's really no need for you guys to watch me fill this thing up. So I will be back once this thing is completely full. Okay, gasoline is completely full. Now we can throw this canister into the van as well. And then for the van itself, which I think takes a lot more than just one canister, I'm pretty sure. Like some video games will do one canister equals one tank of gas. This one's a little bit more realistic. One canister, not a full tank of gas, I'm pretty sure. Get in the driving mode, park and brake off. And we're out of here, losers. Can't really see behind me. I hate trying to back up with this thing. Like there's the diesel. I crashed into it, but I found it. Right, shut this thing off because you shouldn't fill up a vehicle with the engine running. That's just bad, bad, bad news. And I guess this will work. It's a little closer than I want it to be. Pop it open. It's kind of hard to pop that open right there. It has to be like a very specific mouse location, it seemed like. And then can this thing reach around a little bit? Ah, uh, yes, it can reach around. So I'll go ahead and fuel this thing up and I'll be back when it's done. Diesel is full and that was almost 100 marks of diesel. So yes. We did need a good amount more than the amount that goes into a tank. And I can't seem to, uh, maybe it's because I'm holding this thing. Hold on, let me just drop that real quickly. Let's see, can I close this little hatch? Come on, nope. Somehow I'm opening the back door. There we go. Now we close the hatch. Oh yeah, speaking of the back door, I still have the envelope back there, don't I? All right, you are nice and safe, aren't you? I'm gonna bring you to the driver's seat just so you're extra safe as I drive a few feet and you disappear through the ground. Don't disappear through the ground, please. Is this heated up? All right, nice and fast start, that's good. Now we're gonna drive on over so that way it's easier to load this thing up with all the stuff we're gonna buy. We'll park it like right in front of the door. And there we go. Power it off. Out of driving mode, take my envelope. Oh, the door's stuck. Door is stuck, I thought it was open. And the envelope, I believe it goes in this box right here. Right, just kind of slide it on in. Yeah, it just disappeared, so I guess it took. All right, and then how much do I owe you, my man, Pokemon? 2,200, whatever these are, marks. That's right, they're marks, MK, see? So I will take it, I know it takes more than one bag for all that, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's an explosion of goodies. Did I just pick up, I don't want to buy a car seat. I don't know what I picked up, but I don't want it. What is it actually there? Because I've seen it before and I always forget what it is. It is a dash cover. Yeah, I don't want a dash cover, my dude. I was just trying to get my charcoal, which I already paid for. Can't charge me twice for it. So I still got about 800, so that's not too bad at all. We still got money. So if I ever need anything else to buy, we can do that. 
It's annoying having to crouch and then get up to like kind of like move things around. It just takes a while. You can't just grab it from standing position. You have to crouch down and then back up, or you could stay crouched. I guess that kind of worked. It's a little slower to move around, but you can do it like this. It's a little less frustrating. That's the thing. This is nice and relaxing. It's just move it from A to B. Move it from A to B. Easy, easy. I feel like I didn't like move everything that I was expecting to. I don't know. I'm counting everything, and yeah, everything's there because the things that aren't there are in the bag. It just feels like I bought a lot. I guess it's all that charcoal. All right, I admit it is faster if you run and then uncrouch and crouch all over the place like a maniac, but that just is kind of annoying to do. <laughs> I admit though, it is definitely faster. So is this back closed? Because I kind of was like opening it and closing it. So I want to make sure it's like actually closed. I want to open it all the way, open it all the way. All right, it's closed. <laughs> I was going to try to open it, but you know what? It's closed. All right, Pokemon. Thank you. I don't want that other thing though, so please don't charge me for it. Get this thing moving. Come on, start up. There you go. Make it a little bit better. Get rid of that windshield. Actually, you know what I could do with the windshield? Instead of just getting rid of it, we could put it in the back and save it for later. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do with your windshields. Wasting gas, though. Can't be doing that. All right. Door is shut. We are ready to go back home. See if I remember the way to go back home or not. Yeah, look at that idiot. He crashed. What a loser. So if I remember correctly, you basically go left, then you go left, then you go left, and you get home. And it's same to get to the store. You go to the right, go to the right, go to the right, and you get to the store. Pretty sure that's right. We'll find out. That's an actual stop sign, not a yield or anything like that. So you got to come to a complete stop. Look to the right. Look to the left. I can't really see because there's a sign there. It's clear. Right should still be clear. Let's go. I almost wanted to go in the left lane for a second. I've been playing uh, a little too much of games where you are on the left side of the road. I almost just went to there. And the game I'm talking about is mainly Forza. Now, Forza Horizon 3 and 4 had you driving on the left side of the road. Come on, man. That's not where people drive. We drive on the right side of the road. Oh, my goodness. Somebody just hit me. You can never trust the traffic. You just can't trust them. I'm in my lane accelerating as hard as I can, completely obeying the law, and I get rear-ended. I did absolutely nothing wrong there. That is not my fault, but everybody in this game is a complete maniac. Makes me want to go and just beat him up. I'm not gonna, but it makes me want to. Big truck, wreck that dude for me. And he's gonna wreck the world with all of his pollution he puts out. That was disgusting. I need to slow down, but I'm afraid I might get rear-ended, so I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna overshoot it to make sure I don't get hit by the other dude. I guess he spun out or something. That's weird. I thought he was like still right behind me, just kind of outside of my mirrors, but he wasn't. Anyways, though, whole point of that was to make sure I didn't get rear-ended. I didn't get rear-ended. That's what matters. 60 kilometers per hour is the speed, but I'm going to pretend this is 60 miles per hour. Ha ha ha. Well, not for long, though, because I think we got to go on the dirt road soon. And the dirt road, yeah, I obey that speed limit because that's a little dangerous. So we'll see if this is the right way or not. The way to tell is if we find the guy who was at his farm and I completely ruined his farm. Is this that dude? I think this is the dude whose farm I ruined, isn't it? Let's see. If we go through here, I'll be able to tell whether or not it is. Uh, no, this is a different dude, isn't it? Oh, well, I'll ruin his farm, too. I just drive on through it, ruin his crops, whatever. I'll do what I want. I can do whatever I want. And then we go back into the road like I did nothing wrong at all, but I know I did a lot wrong that I shouldn't have been doing, but I did it anyways. All right, come on, get up to speed. I should have downshifted. I would have got up to speed. Oh, this is the same farm. I just got, I forgot, that's right, there was two entrances to it. Or an entrance and an exit. I forgot about that. Now it's coming back to me. So that is the right farm. We are going the right direction. I am happy as can be. I'm so happy I'm going to shift in the third gear and take the risk. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Doing it anyways. I mean, we are going a really good rate of speed. What's it say? 80 kilometers per hour. That's fast. And oh my goodness, I was looking at the speedometer, not looking at where I was driving. Ow! Like, if I crashed a little bit faster than that, I think that's death. I barely slowed down enough to not crash. All because I was trying to read the stupid speedometer. That's why laws about how fast you can go need to be abolished. Because... Is that the car squeaking now? 
No, that's a dog barking. Uh, I got like scared. I like I thought you couldn't damage this thing. Was it changed in the update? I mean, you could damage it, but you can't actually make it worse. Is what I should say. Uh, but I was saying though, speed limit should be abolished because you can accidentally get into a crash because you're busy trying to look at how fast you're going. Makes sense to me. Let's abolish all speed limits. You can go as fast as you want, wherever you want. Sure, it'll increase the number of crashes, but it'll decrease the number of crashes resulted from looking at your speed. And that's what we're trying to do here, is just decrease that number. Who cares about the overall number of crashes? It's not my worry. I don't think I want to take a left yet. I think we keep driving, right? Yeah, it has to be, because we haven't passed the train track yet. Usually you pass a train track, then you take the left. And then you pass another train track. And I know when I pass a train track, because I get very scared, my hands get sweaty, and I close my eyes and just hope I don't get hit. There's the water. Don't fall in the water. You know, I wonder if anything fell out of my car when I got rear-ended, because sometimes things do glitch through the vehicles, as you saw with that envelope earlier. I didn't think about that, but it's frightening. All right, so there's the first train track. Full speed on this thing. Don't slow down, just cross it. All right, we're good, we're good. Woo, take a breath. Ah, <sighs> feels so much better now. Like, you know, I do slow down afterwards because it really is a little bit concerning. All right, so we got building up there, some dude. I don't know what he's about, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Now, I already looked at some dude's house last time. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm on a mission. We are gonna assemble the car because I studied the car. I know how to assemble the car. I still have my same cheat sheet from the last time when I made the car, which I modified from the time I made the car last time, which I made from my first time building the car. I have built this car so many times. I know it like the back of my hand, man. This is going to be like actually probably like, you know, with editing and all, trying to make sure I do it right on camera. This is probably going to be like the 50th time I built the car or something, you know, but it's going to be like the fourth time on camera, I guess. Or third time on camera. I don't know. How many times have I built this thing? Too many. That is the true answer. And the sad thing is, is I built it how many times and I still have yet to actually go for a drive with it. That's the worst part. Someday we're going to build it and actually go for a drive and do more than just sitting in my garage looking at my car and thinking of the possibilities. Also, when I get home, first thing I need to do after I unload everything is get some drink. I am a thirsty man right now. I promised my parents no beer, so we're not going to have any beer. And here we go. Come on. Safe. Woo. Another breath taken. That means we are definitely on the right path, and we aren't that far from home. Went a little too fast, though. I felt the vehicle kind of getting out of control just for a second. Like, this right here is the ideal speed. Very controllable. No chance of crashing unless I close my eyes for a while. I'm going to close my eyes for a while now. Okay, they're open. That's all I feel comfortable closing my eyes for. Anymore, we'll probably crash. Like, I'm off the road and stuff now, and that's with my eyes open. Imagine if they were closed. I hope she'd be coming up any second, though. Can't see it yet, but I know it has to be close. Come on, where are you at, home? This is ridiculous. I thought you were just around the corner. You hiding from me. There's no way I overshot it. There's no way. It's so big. I couldn't possibly. There it is. I got to get a feel for these roads again. I only have a general sense of the important things, like which way to go. But I don't have a sense of how long it should take to get from one place to the other. All right, we made it. And now here, here is the true test. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pull on into here, just right next to my other car, right where this thing starts. And we're gonna go ahead and see if any parts disappear when I save because that's really the thing we gotta test here is do parts disappear or not so the one thing I want to do though is I want to bring the shopping bag into the house because this thing will explode all over the place when you save and I want it to explode right there because it'll make a mess I want it to explode in the house on the table where it'll be nice and easy to kind of see things and also we're gonna go ahead and get some hydration like I said so just Stick my head into the faucet, like into the faucet. There we go. And then here we go. The scariest part about this game, actually saving and then reloading the game and seeing if it still works. Okay, back into the game. So fingers crossed here, let's see. Is everything look okay? Over to here, 
what is here? All right, there are the spark plugs. There's the oil filter. That's good. All of the sausages. The fan belt is there. I do not see the battery, though. Was the battery in the van? I think maybe the battery was in the van. Let's go check out the van and see if everything is in the van or not. So the van should have the battery and then a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, looks like everything is safe this time. And we can properly build the car. But I was thinking a little bit, actually. You know what? Instead of building the car with the regular tool set, why don't we do some other stuff around here for a few in-game days? And then after some time passes, we can go pick up the upgraded tool set and build the car a little bit faster and a little bit easier. In the end, I'm sure I'll be saving time if I do it like that. And it's just a little bit nicer for you guys because you don't have to wait so long every time we have to fasten up a bolt. So that's all for this video. Till next time, this is YBR. Don't forget to follow me into the garage and I'll see ya.